Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now if you're new here, hi my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup, skincare, and hair multiple times a week. So if that's something you're interested in, I'd love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today we're going to be talking about drugstore makeup. Now if you've been watching me for a while, you know that my channel is very drugstore slash affordable makeup focused or just affordable products in general. Um, I love trying to find like the best of the best at very affordable prices to give you guys the best recommendations and you know through all the years that I've been doing this I've managed to find some really amazing drugstore products and I feel like I haven't shared my top favorite drugstore products with you guys in a long time so today I'm going to be telling you guys about 10 products from the drugstore that you absolutely need in your collection these are all super amazing drugstore products that literally perform like high-end makeup at a super affordable price but before I get into that I do want to mention my makeup look today so I did my eyes pretty similarly to this in a um, recent video and I had a few of you guys ask me what was on the eyes so I decided to make a tutorial um, on the look but I decided to add a little bit of a twist to it and get my boyfriend to do the voiceover for the video so if you're interested in seeing a tutorial on this and seeing how my boyfriend attempted to voice over the video I'll have that linked down below in the description box but back to this video if you guys want to know about 10 drugstore items that you absolutely need just keep on watching all right so I'm gonna start with foundation now the foundation I have to show you guys today is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. Now, um, I think this is one of my new favorite foundations, to be honest. Especially if you have dry skin, you absolutely need this foundation. So Wet n Wild came out with their regular Photo Focus foundation a few years ago. And when I tried that one out, I really liked it. It had amazing coverage, sat on the skin really nicely, lasted a long time, and overall got a lot of great feedback from myself and a bunch of other influencers and um, customers who tried the products. Um, now I have a drier skin so sometimes that foundation was a little heavy and stuff but usually I would just use more of a moisturizing primer and I'd be good to go and I just set it less. Um, but then when I saw that they released the dewy foundation I got so so excited because I'm like oh my goodness I need to try this. I'm obsessed with dewy makeup so um, I thought this would be the perfect foundation for me and to be honest it really is. I would say it's literally the photo focus just a little more moisturizing and dewy. It's still gives you pretty good coverage I would say it's like medium coverage but you can build it up it does build fairly nicely but I kind of like the medium coverage it gives because I can still see like my freckles through it and stuff and it doesn't completely create like a mask over the face which I found their original was more of that paint consistency a little bit so this one is a little bit more on the natural side it wears a pretty long time too I think because it has that dewy consistency to it it just kind of melts into the skin and even when it starts fading it does not look bad at all um, I would recommend setting this though especially like under the eyes you know anywhere you tend to crease easier but either way it works really well with other products I can even kind of use this as like a spot concealer some days so it's a really great foundation and I highly recommend it it's just a few bucks from the drugstore next I have a concealer to mention and this one has become my all-time favorite concealer I think if you love a hydrating um, concealer that still gives great coverage this is the one for you this is the hydrating camel concealer from elf now similarly to the wet n wild foundation elf had their camel concealer out for a really long time and I hadn't tried it yet but I saw so much um, great things about it and then I saw that they released their hydrating camel concealer and a lot of people got excited because uh, although the camel concealer was amazing um, some people with drier skin did find it a little bit too heavy and drying I have tried the regular camel concealer now but I do have to say I enjoy this one more for my skin type and as I've been liking more lightweight makeup um, I think this one is really nice because you can wear it on bare skin it's a perfect um, you know no makeup makeup day concealer it just blends right into the skin and kind of just looks like your skin but better and you just want something with more of that satin finish more of a natural concealer this one is amazing all right this next part is a recent discovery for me but I have to recommend to you guys because the price of this is phenomenal and that is the physicians formula butter collection x whaley hong palette guys this palette is like a must-have for every single one of you if you love your bronzers blushes highlights everything like that I think the butter formula from physicians formula is one of the best formulas at the drugstore hands down I love their 
their butter bronzers as well as their butter blushes even their highlighters are pretty nice but when i saw this palette i was like oh my goodness everything i love in one palette and the price of this is phenomenal i did a whole review video on this palette and i talked about that by the way quick side note right here um i will have all my review videos that i've done on any of these products down below if you guys want more in-depth information on any of these products but with this palette right here um a butter product from physicians formula ranges anywhere from like 12 to 16 dollars i would say um but this palette is 14.99 um american and i think that's amazing that for around the same price as an individual product you get six products and i don't think they're as big as the regular products but honestly um they're pretty big pans and you do get a lot of product in here so it comes with two bronzers so it comes with two bronzers that did not just happen oh my goodness guys just as i was talking about how amazing this palette was the shade just fell out of the pan and it's like crumbled on the floor all right i'm just gonna keep going um let's just pretend that didn't happen so so this palette does feature a very soft products um as evidence shows um but they apply really nicely to the skin and they just look so natural they have like almost a satin finish to them so they look really healthy and glowy on the skin without having too much shimmer or emphasizing texture the bronzers are really amazing so are the blushes and the highlights are really nice too they provide a good amount of that like shimmer but nothing too heavy or glittery and i think these are so so smooth and easy to work with so i'd highly recommend this palette next i do want to mention some blushes i I've been obsessed with blush lately and I've just been trying new ones out and recently I've really been liking the new wet n wild color icon blushes now they did have their old color icons and then they came out with new color icons and now they have these ones right here which are the newest ones um, and I would say these ones probably are my favorite out of all the ones they've released um, they have a really nice formula to them where they are pigmented enough that you just need like one tap in and you can get your whole face done and I use a lot of blush too but they're really easy to work with and really easy to blend out and i have the shade right here mellow wine which is a really beautiful mauve um honestly really nice really like creamy formula you can see right there but not like too too soft that you're gonna get like too much product on the face and then we have the shade pearlescent pink and i believe they have two more shades i just do not have them this one has a tiny bit of glitter in it so it gives it a bit of that sheen it's a little bit on the lighter side but overall really really nice um blushes i think these are an amazing formula and they're just a few dollars so highly recommend them and then i do have a highlighter from wet n wild to share with you guys now this came out a while ago but i'd say it's still fairly new um i feel like i don't see these drugstore videos as much on youtube so i really want to do this to give you guys like updated um the drugstore makeup that i think is really worth it so this is the loose highlighting powder from wet n wild and i have mine in the shade i'm so lit guys i think this is the best drugstore highlighter ever if you love intense highlighters this is the one for you i literally only use like what's in the cap because that's how pigmented it is so i'm just gonna go in ahead and take a little bit of product and and show you guys this because it's insane check that out look how gorgeous and this color is like the perfect champagne highlighter so so nice it has the perfect amount of glitter in it where it's not too overpowering but you do just need a tiny bit of product with this because you can make it super super intense like i do have it on right now as you can see i have a pretty intense glow going on but just a tiny dip into this like so so small and you can really take that up like so beautiful such a beautiful metallic glow and i do like that it's a loose um powder because it's so finely milled so it really just blends into the skin really nicely and even though it's super metallic and extreme it doesn't emphasize texture that much and it doesn't look like too chunky or glittery on the skin so it's just a really beautifully uh, made formula and i really enjoy it next i want to talk about some eyeshadow glitters you guys know that i'm obsessed with liquid glitters um that's it's like all I use on my eyes. I rarely use just a glitter like 
pressed eyeshadow anymore i always have to use a liquid one of my new favorites is the elf glitters these are amazing i did a full swatch video on these if you want to see all these shades but this has to be one of my favorite colors it's in the shade 24 hour gold and this has to be the most intense gold eyeshadow i've ever come across look how like yellow and bright that is these reflect so nicely apply really good they're really easy to work with as well um if you like cut creases but you don't love the whole process that goes into them these are perfect because you can really create that like cut crease without having to uh, use concealer and all the other steps they're awesome to use and they really just take your eye look to the next level super pigmented last really long time and i don't really experience a lot of like glitter fallout with them as well so i personally really enjoy these and they do have a pretty big shade selection so you're definitely gonna find a shade that you like and then of course my other favorite when it comes to eye toppers and of course i had to mention two in this video because that's how much I love my eye toppers. And that is the Milani Ludicrous Lights Eye Topper. Now, Milani has their Hypnotic Lights Eye Toppers, which I love. And they're basically the same formula. These just came in a different collection and they have just different shades. Um, I think these are a little more on the like holographic iridescent side, but all the shades are really beautiful. Their formula is amazing. And this is just one of the shades that I've been using lately. That's really pretty. It's in the shade Pinkaroo. And it's like a pink with like blue and purple reflex in it. So when you um, like shift your head, the light catches it really nicely and it kind of shifts color as well. So there it is, as you can see, it's like purple and blue, but then once you shift it, it goes to pink. You see that right there? When it's on the eye, it looks so amazing. Whenever I wear these Milani Hypnotic Lights, I always have people ask me what's on your eyes because they just look out of this world and they look so luxurious, um, but they're only a few dollars from the drugstore. So really great formula in these. Again, really easy to blend, really pigmented. And what I love about these um, and how they shift is you can even manipulate them with whatever eyeshadow you put underneath. So if I put like a pink eyeshadow underneath, this will really show up pink. I can do more of a neutral look and this will kind of show up um, more on the purpley side so you can really uh, manipulate these with your eyeshadow so they're very versatile and they just add like the prettiest look to your eyes all right now i have some lip products from milani now milani hands down makes like my favorite lip products ever so of course i'm gonna share them with you guys so this right here is my all-time favorite lipstick now um i would say out of every lipstick i've tried high end low end whatever this is the best of the best. This is the Milani Bold Matte Lipstick. I do own all the shades, so I did make a full lip swatch on them, but this is just the shade I Am Fabulous. It's a perfect mauve lipstick, um, but I love all the shades, honestly. I just grabbed this one to show you guys the packaging and stuff. I love the actual package itself too. Really, really classic. And it looks really pretty for a drugstore product. Milani always kills it on their packaging. But the formula of this is out of this world. It's the perfect combination of a matte lipstick that doesn't dry out your lips. Gives really, really great pigment. Lasts so, so long for a tube lipstick. And just overall doesn't smear. It doesn't um, shift on your lips. It's so, so amazing. I love mixing a bunch of shades together or putting these on top of other liquid lipsticks. Just overall really, really great formula. And then of course, Milani just keeps hitting it with these lip products. Um, they came out with the matte satin liquid lipsticks and I've tried their Amore matte liquid lipsticks as well as their Amore metallic matte liquid lipsticks and although those are really amazing formulas I did find I would use a lip balm underneath or a lipstick or lip gloss on top just to give me that bit of moisture that I was missing whereas these because they're more of that satin formula they have that moisture kind of built in and I find that I can skip those steps with this one and just wear it on its own. Um, I don't even have to use a lip liner with these. They apply so precisely and really stay in place. Of course, they're not as transfer proof as the strict matte liquid lipstick because they do have a bit of that moisture in there. But I feel like honestly, matte lips were kind of a few years ago and now people are liking that more glossy look. So I think these are perfect if you still want an overall um, mostly matte transfer proof lipstick, but something a little bit more um, ideal and usable since it has that moisture in there and your lips won't look like the Sahara Desert at the end of the day so I think these are awesome great pigmentation also they wear literally all day long and even as they start kind of wearing throughout the day they blend really nicely with your lips to still make it look nice you can also reapply these on top of the old product and it won't build up all weird so overall really nice formula again I do have all the shades in this one and I do have a lip swatch if you guys are interested in seeing all the shades in their collection because they have some really nice ones um, but this is just my favorite one in the shade indulge I've been loving these deeper nude shades and this one is awesome i'll give it a little swatch for you guys so you can see the shade it's 
there it is just like a deeper nude really nice and the last product i have to mention are lip glosses now as i said i feel like this year people are using more lip glosses and kind of going for more of that dewy um shiny look instead of the complete matte that was in trend a few years ago milani is definitely the place to go for drugstore lip glosses i love their ludicrous lip glosses that they came out with this year they literally feel like water on the lips but they have enough stick that they adhere to the lips yet your lips don't stick together when you're wearing them this is one of my favorite shades in teen spirit it's like a beautiful peach really really pigmented too they have some more sheer ones but overall great formula um they feel really nice on the lips and they're actually pretty moisturizing too so i love that one um i know this is like technically a different product but i'm putting these two lip glosses together to make 10 but this is the keep it full formula this one is really nice i find these ones are a bit more on the juicy side just because they have that plumping um effect too they have that bit of that like minty feel to them this is one of my new favorite shades it's called natural luster and this one has a bit of glitter throughout it. as you can see very shiny lip glosses and they just look so so nice on the lips again really nice formula where they stick onto the lips so they actually last a really long time but they don't make your lips stick together and feel all gross they kind of slide on really nicely so um just the perfect like formula for a lip gloss and i highly recommend all right guys so that is it for all the products i'm sharing in this video if you guys want to see similar videos to this let me know down below in the comments but i hope you're having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching please subscribe if you haven't already and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video and yeah guys that's it for this one i'll see you in the next one bye guys for the most part i fixed it it's kind of all back i salvaged a lot of the product i'm gonna go have to do some of those diy fixing makeup trends because I actually really like this product.